Hey guys, welcome back to Frig Motion. In today's video, I'll show you how you can stylize your boring compositions and make them look really crazy. I will also show you how you can create this loop animation just by using few keyframes. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. All right, let's create a composition with basic settings. I'm taking the size 1080 by 1080. Also, give it a name you like. Let's create the shapes first that we are going to animate. You can use any shapes here that completely your choice. I am creating a rectangle first with a solid color. Let's rename it. Then I am making a square. Also changing its color to a different one. Align it to the center now. And at last, creating a circle like this. Changing its color to a different color. Also align it to the center. Now first thing first, you will need to place these shapes the way you want in the first frame. The positions can be anything. I took this animation reference from a Lottie animation. So this will be my starting point. Let's rename other two layers as well. Alright, I am going to animate the square first. Select the layer and open position and rotation property. Let's trim the work area to 2 seconds for now. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on the position. Then go to 1 second and change its position something like this. After one more second, copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Add a keyframe on the rotation keyframe as well. Go to 2 seconds and change the rotation value to 1, means 1 complete cycle. So you can see this is a simple animation. Now I want this circle to be squeezed when the square drops on it. For doing that, first go to the circle layer and open scale property. Now unlink this. and change the save value something like this and add a keyframe on it then go forward to 2 or 3 frames and make it normal now copy this keyframe and paste it here 2 to 3 frames before the end of the timeline then copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end of the timeline just like this now we need to adjust the position of the square according to the circle. We need to fix it at the first frame. And last frame only. Middle keyframe will be remain intact. Now you can see the little bounce on the circle. You can increase the squeeze effect if you want just by changing the scale value. Select the square layer and press U to see the applied keyframes. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Select all the position keyframes and open graph editor. First double click on the center point and check this option. Then drag these two points something like this. And for the rotation keyframes open graph editor and change the curve something like this. Now it looks much better. Also easy is the keyframes for the circle as well. Let's create a null layer and link all these layers to the null layer. Now on the null layer, we are going to add the same keyframes like the square. First change the position something like this, then add a keyframe on the first frame. Then go forward to one second and change the position something like this. And add the last frame. Copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Also add the keyframes on the rotation for the one complete cycle, same as the square. Easy is all the keyframes. And change the curves same like before.
By doing this, all animation will look symmetrical. So this is our main looping animation. The animation looks really nice, but still it looks kind of normal and plain and no fill in this animation. So let's start stylizing it. First of all, let's add gradient fill on the square. We can change the color from here. This color looks really nice to me. And you can change the angle of the gradient by changing these points. This looks fine. Now make a duplicate of the layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. On the second layer, add an effect called first box blur. Increase the blur radius value according to your need. This looks fine to me. On the same layer, add glow effect as well. Here you need to play with these values to get your desired result. You can use deep glow effect also if you have it. This looks really good to me. Let's stylizing the circle as well. Right click on this layer, go to layer style and add in a shadow. Open in a shadow. First change the direction something like this to the downside. Increase the size a little bit. Also increase the noise value slightly. Sorry, I forget to change the fill color to a gradient color. Choose the colors of your choice but try to use different colors for the circle. Now adjust the angle like this. And change the shadow color as well. To me this looks good with the background. Right click on this layer again, go to layer style and add bevel and emboss. Open the property. Increase the size until it looks like this. Also increase the softness value and change the highlight color and shadow color according to your composition. You can always experiment with these values. On the circle layer, add glow effect on it. Adjust the values a little bit and change the glow color to A and B color. Then change these colors you like. Now make a duplicate of the layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Add first blocks blur effect here as well. Increase the blur radius value a little bit and this looks fine to me. I am going to add the same effect on the rectangle layer as well. For that, you just need to select the circle layer. Go to layer style property and just copy it from here by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste it on the square layer by pressing Ctrl plus B. Now apply gradient fill effect on it and change the color of your choice. I am using blue color for this. Now make a duplicate of the square layer and apply first blocks blur effect on it. Increase the blur radius value a little bit. On the rectangle, you can add some noise effect on it. Increase the noise amount value slightly and your animation is done. For background, you can add solid layer and apply gradient ramp effect on it and change the colors that matches your composition. From this one to this one, you can see the difference. So this is all for today. Please subscribe the channel if you learned something new from this or you can check out my other videos where I share different kind of text animations. So see you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.